And I'm sure you know cars these days, they are getting pretty damn advanced in terms of all the sensors and how they all interface with one another. Now you may have one of these little OBD2 readers. These are great, they're cheap and cheerful. You plug it in and it'll tell you if you've got any faults. So if you've got an engine management light that's come up on your dash, then usually it'll tell you what the DTC fault is, but they are limited and that's about as far as it can go. It can't do any bi-directional and it won't give you any further information. But if you've got one of these and you're fairly confident with it, why not up your game a little bit and actually see what it's like using a professional diagnostic. And that's what I'm gonna to use today. This is the King Bolin K10 Pro. I've done a full review, it's down below if you want to have a look, but I'm going to show you just how much different using one of these devices, which has a full topological feature. That's really handy because all of these control units nowadays, they all kind of interface with one another. So if you've got a problem, say, with your ABS sensor, that ABS sensor may also then stop your cruise control from working. And also you'll be limited with your brakes because there's about three or four other aspects along the way that it shuts down. So one fault could give you three or four faults. And this is going to tell you and be able to clear those problems. You know, back in the day, we used to use things like a Haynes manual. And this is how sort of much more simple cars were. And I used to go to the back of it, look through the fault finding guide, usually because the car wouldn't start. And then hopefully that will sort of tell me what to do. But cars have moved on. And with all the sensors and everything, you need a device such as this King Bolin to be able to tell you exactly what the problems are. So I'm going to go straight and have a look at the vehicle. So I'll show you, first of all, on my little Volkswagen Beetle. And we'll have a look to see what codes that the cheap OBD scanner brings up compared to the King Bolin K10. 